Here we go. Oh yeah, after I talked to the lich, um, I scout. I went through the rest of the area. There was just some traps and a few specters. Turns out specters in this game don't give permanent debuff of, you know, of what's it called, of level down. So that was something. Oh yeah, last thing the uh, the Zacharias offered to raise the undead to help me, and I said no. And that that's it. That's everything. These ghouls have been maimed even more brutally than the others. Bulky lenses are sewn over their eyes, and various tools, from scissors to drills, are attached to their fingers. Their bodies are pin cushions for long, rusty needle needles, thread still in them. They are plying their work on bound up soldiers, still alive but with no strength to even moan from the unbearable pain. Ghoul Creeper. One of the ghoul craftsmen works his finger blades dexterously, slowly removing the scalp from a female warrior, all while chatting to her cheerfully. You won't need this hair. Ghouls don't have any. It would fall out anyway. Yours is good and good though. Nice and long. We'll make Fred out of it. Hair makes good Fred. Maybe we'll use it to sew something onto you. Ghoul Creeper. Too bad paladins can't become like us. The light they have inside burns away our gift too quickly. We used to have a good paladin friend when I was alive. Or I used to have a good paladin friend when I was alive. We both got bitten. I was transformed, but he just stayed the way he was. I had to gobble him up. That was too bad. If he hadn't b believed in his little goddess, he'd still be having fun with us now. Ghoul Huntmaster. Another methodically tears off a soldier's fingernails one by one, sewing on razor blades in their place. The living, the living like to swing their swords. When you're one of us, you'll forget all about, you'll forget about all those silly weapons with handles. Better to kill the enemy with your hands. Sink your fingers into their meat. Let the smell out. Feel the warm blood spray. That is what happiness is. Yeah. How terrible. Disgusting. Indecent. This talk about meat and blood makes me sick. Camellia inhales deeply and licks her lips. I must, I must disagree. This ghoul is a professional surgeon. The quality of his work is superior to that of many young specialists in Absalom. I'm sure he will agree to move to Absalom if offered a decent salary in meat. Finian the talking weapon. Finian's voice trembles. I've seen this before. Only there was a hearth. And an anvil. And... No... I can't remember. 
Alright. I can stealth to sneak up and attack stealthily. I have a plus 15 bonus on this. I could just charge at them. Get your paws away from them. Yeah, I'll just charge at them. Get your paws away from them. Ah, new material. Even better than old stuff. With quick swipes of their blades, the ghoul craftsmen finish off their prisoners and turn to attack you. Oh, fuck me. Ah. Set. Alright, well... That's another failure. No, no, no. Didn't count. Nothing happened. Yes, it did. No. You snipped your throat. No, I didn't. Yeah. You just ran it off. No, no. <clears throat> Time to reverse myself. This is the invisible fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no, no one checks the locks. <laughs> well, I said Steam keeps a record. No. Twitch keeps a record, and and I'm uploading my streams onto YouTube, but nobody checks these. So I'm fine. All right, let's try this again without fucking up. Let me use some. That tactic was to leave them. A success worthy of praise. An epitaph written in Tian is etched into the stone. I lost my honor in my homeland. I regained it here. Alright. Now, let's try this again. Okay. We'll stealth up, attack, attack sneakily. I've got a plus 15 in stealth. I just need a seven or higher. Yeah, there you go, see that? Got an eight. <laughs> Busy with their disgusting work, the ghouls don't notice as you sneak up on them and strike. All right. New? Cast another pit. Let's see anyone else? Only you deserve my obedience. I'll rip you apart. Kill that one. Tell me, and I'll do it. You can't. No, oh, charge. This guy. I'm losing my temper. Die. Tear your throat out. Hello, Dragoon Brother. Hello, Atrocius. Right, I think I think we got them all. We're just stuck in the hole. So, thankfully, I can just have her just spell the magic. What have they done to me? My face, it's still human, isn't it? We almost became like them.
Ugh. That was gross. Right? They're they're just up and at them and, and booking. No healing magic needed. No no potion like wow, these guys are troopers. <laughs> Tortured and, and torture and like surgery commenced, and they, they just they just like oh man th thanks for unloosening those binds just hop up off the off the surgery bits and just start running down a mountain no problem fucking hell. It said they didn't even have energy to scream, but they got energy to just get up and run, though. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. Some ghouls have pinned a soldier to a tombstone covered with fresh blood. He doesn't fight back, but only begs them in a weak voice. D don't eat me. Please. I, I don't want that. Ghoul Huntmaster. Did you hear? He doesn't want it. Well, all right. Let him go then. Dinner is canceled. Let's go home. <laughs> the ghouls burst into shrieking laughter. What if we really don't eat you? No one will touch you. You have my word. But first, you'll have to do something. Eat some of my meat. The ghoul tears off a chunk of rotten flesh from his body and shakes it in front of the soldier's face. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat it all and we'll let you go. But if you spit any out, we'll rip you to pieces. Oh. Hey, Ken, uh, Trosia, uh has a question for you. Or something for you. So, Dragoon Bro, your brother chose to refuse the help from Zacharias the Lich and is not getting undead back up in the boss fight. Tell him he's stupid. Oh, man. I'm nice enough to read that out loud, but... You don't have you don't have to listen to him, bro. You, but you are you. It's worse that you gave him the wand and you don't use it. The very benefit of giving him the wand you don't even use. All right, screw both of you. I have, uh, I have a plan. <laughs> it's a good plan. And now, now he, now he's got his soul, and now he can actually charge a whole army against your own guys. But he won't do that. He, he's on my side, right? But no. at the very least, he's not a, hes not trying to be involved with the Crusades one way or the other. He is. Well, he didn't say anything like that. I, That's I, why you I, gave I, him the wand. I, I trust him. Understandable. <laughs> I did. I You're did. You're a fool. It all counts. You, you know what? You, I, can, I can handle it. All Louis, right? Louis Tegrude is dumb. <laughs> Just like the entity... <laughs> How could you do that? I don't know. I, I clicked a button and it said okay. <laughs> That's how I did it. It was easy. What did I say? Yup, yeah, that was easy. You turn me in. Alright, let's see what happens to this guy. Well, well, thanks to you, he's probably gonna die. The soldiers look the soldier looks in terror at the piece of half decayed meat dangling in front of his face and vomits on the tombstone. The ghouls laugh hysterically. You may be interested to know that the disease that infects the transformation of a human into a ghoul has not been thoroughly researched. Ninio grabs a piece of someone's body lying around and takes a bite. Then she tosses it away and rubs her nose and ears with her hands. There, I hope the fever sets in quickly. Stealth up. What the fuck? Okay. Alright, stealth up quick. And attack stealthily. I don't know why I'm not able to use uh, Camilla anymore. Whatever. Failed. <sighs> Fucking hell. Damn it. Nah, I can... nah, fuck it. Fine, fuck it. He's dead. 
The ghouls howl and attack, but not before one of them rips out the soldier's throat. Here you go! Another one bites the dust! <sighs> Oh, it's because they did something to make Camilla exhausted, so she has a minus six on strength and dex. Alright, kill the cleric first. Save that guy. Yeah. Alright, just use the lock pick. I hope you appreciate this. What else? Is there anything else going on over here? Nope. Oh wait, no, there is a door here. Spirit, we'll check outside first. What? Oh shit. Ninia really has gold fever now. Oh my god. Stupid. Trosy has called me stupid. At least I'm not running around eating ghoul flesh. He promised to share it. <laughs> he said he'd make me into a lich. Uh, no, I d I'm not going to take the deal, but, it, you know, it, the fact that he's promising the power means he's on my side. Don't be so quick to distrust people. God damn. I was nice enough to give him his wand. He's going to be nice enough to, to not try to screw me over for being so nice. That's how it works. Yes. You, you, you give back what you give, you know? Unlimited power and such. Yes. You don't have to be such a downer about it, bro. Come on. This will work out. It didn't do it. I couldn't equip it, so it didn't do anything. So no. Oh, Terra Blade. All right, here we go. The disgusting stench of rotten flesh fills the room. Human bodies are impaled on iron hooks hanging from the ceiling, like cattle in a slaughterhouse. Some of them are still, while others shift and moan. You hear a faint female voice whispering a prayer. Holy Iomade, deliver us. The voice coughs wetly. Deliver us 
from dark from the darkness by your hand. Camilla, after casting her eyes around the room, Camilla wets her lips and pointedly pinches her nose. Commander Tirabay, the soldier's voice trembles. I don't want to, I don't want to die. It won't work out. You're gonna regret not taking the deal and having that precious backup. I'm sure everything will be all right. Mm -hmm. he's, got, he's got an Omade on his side. Yeah, I got Iomade on my side, right? I, I chose Iomade as my character's deity. <laughs> Good. All right, you won't die, soldier. You, you won't die. They'll come for us. The commander is on his way. Pray with me. Come on. Holy Iomade, don't leave us. Don't leave. The soldier's voice fades. Uh -oh. yeah. Come on, can you hear me? Come on, speak. Speak. I, I, I. The soldier's vo hoarse voice grows louder, and then comes the cracking sound of torn flesh. I'm hungry. <laughs> C Commander, Arabeth has been impaled on a metal hook and is barely breathing. Her lips move slowly and blood pours from her mouth with every with her every word. You came. And this is the commander of a knightly order. What a pathetic sight. Damn, Rachel. Cursing, Sila rushes to help Arabeth. You chose Iomade, but aren't you chaotic good? I started as neutral good, if it helps you feel any Ew. better. What's wrong with neutral good? And yes, for the most part, like a lot of the a lot of the choices I have been choosing in this game through has been chaotic, if yeah. not good. But that's because a lot of the chaotic options are just really funny. <laughs> and he chose never neutral. Let's hear this out, people. He's not neutral at all. I chose like one neutral option. Technically, not all neutral options are just not alignment. <laughs> it never popped up. So it's like, well, I'm not using it. He's not even using it at all. Why, dude? Yeah. Alright, uh, with Hunt, um, with your help, Arabeth gets off the hook. She sways with a moan, but remains standing. Okay. Let's see. You've suffered a great deal. You're lucky to be alive. I can. This boy can't. I've also been bitten. She lowers her head, and you see and you see a fresh bite on her neck. Praise the inheritor. She protects me from infection. Otherwise, I'd be like him. What lies further ahead? Did you see anything? Staunton Vane, the fallen paladin of Dresden. He is here with the demoness. It's a trap. Please, be careful. And you call yourself a commander? You can't even defend yourself? <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. It's not even alive. You can just chastise her free of, <laughs> free, like, conscious free. <laughs> uh, can you walk? Anivia is waiting at the foot of the hill. She'll help you. Yes, I'll get there. Thank you, commander. There, I saved her. Too bad I couldn't save that one guy. Healing word! No, that's 5th edition. Healing word isn't in this game. Who gets that? 
I never saw a cleric with it. Yeah, yeah you don't love him up. Do this. What does Ghoul Fever do anyway? 1d3 con damage, 1d3 dex damage. <sighs> Dumbass. Alright. save and here we go I would not have expected a voice like that from a body like that. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, considering how big he looks, like, I thought he was going to talk a real gruff and, you know, like, the, yeah. the, you know, the, the usual uh, monstrous bad guy thing. <laughs> Guy sound, this guy sounds like uh, Kefka from Final Fantasy, the, the jester guy. Alright, let's see. The ghouls march in the square before the bell tower to the tune of Nelkaneth's cheerful laughter. You see living soldiers among them, wounded, frightened to death, struggling to march and step with the undead. Who's here? It's the commander. Come to return what he stole from you. It should have been you in command of this army. And these powers. They should have been yours. You see two familiar figures in the bell tower. The fallen crusader Staunton watches marching ghouls with grim disgust. Minago takes him by the chin her sharp claw leaving a scratch on his cheek, and turns his face to you. Staunton. Staunton Vane is a dwarf crusader whose fatal mistake led to the fall of Dresden, and the thrall of the demoness Minago, who appeared to him as a beautiful elf woman. Staunton and his friends took away a powerful artifact that guarded the fortress, the Sword of Valor. Without the artifact's protection, a tide of demons washed over the city, which fell in a great massacre. Staunton survived these events and would have been sentenced to death, but Queen Golfrey, believing him a sincerely mistaken idealist, not a traitor, stepped in and spared his life. And then treated him like shit until he would turn traitor anyway. <laughs> Good job. No. Yeah, I know, but everybody did. It's like, goddamn. It's his fault. You, you, you give some. It's like we're giving you a second chance for the purpose of convincing you that that was wrong in every sense of the word. I don't know, man. At least normally when somebody does a bad, like bad guys do something, they usually don't get treated like shit by everybody for turning good or for making a mistake or some shit. I don't know. Alright. That was your brother, and as I said, he wiped out, but he survived. Well, his brother's his brother's alive. Alright, well, let's Not move for long. Let's move on. Let's move on. You better be, he's supposed to restore radiance. Oh, darling, why so sad? Oh, please, sweetheart, say something. When you're like this, it makes me sad too. You don't, you don't want, want me to be sad, do you? Come on, smile. I did everything you wanted, even better than you wanted. 
the fools who humiliated you got what they deserved. Can you hear them scream? And how their commander will be torn to pieces along with them. Oh, it's sure to be a fine show. Just for the two of us. And we have the best seats in the house. Her sharp nails sink deeper into the dwarf's skin, and the demon's lips draw close to his face. He winces. This is too much. They deserve death, and what happened to Nauris was fair punishment. But this, this depraved torture. Order your creature to finish them off, and we'll be done here. Sweetie, don't tell me what to do. Too soft on them, I think. Just remember the way they humiliated you. Hatchel, for your part in a heroic feat, and now they would take Dresden from you. Each of them deserves a hundred deaths. The only thing unfair about this is that we can kill them only once. There, there now. So bad. Kiss me, my love. And, and let's, let's enjoy, enjoy the spectacle. spectacle. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Her clawed fingers release the dwarf's face and move lower, stroking his broad chest. Ah. A tongue resembling a fat crimson slug crawls out of Minago's mouth and reaches out to Staunton's face. The dwarf turns away, and the demon's tongue leaves a moist trail on, of slime on his cheek. Hey! Hey! What are you looking, looking at? at? Look at me! I'm right here! You need to point your soldier's hands off for you to notice me! I can do it, you know. I mean... It would hurt. Like... <laughs> yeah. you're, you're competing with that. The, the couple scene up there. <laughs> I mean, if we're being honest. <laughs> it's not a sex show. It's like a soap opera. A twisted soap opera, but still. And then this guy's like... He's trying to be a joke that's just not funny. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Minago, call off your puppet and come down here now. Staunton, don't listen to her. She'll eat you as soon as... You stop being useful. I told you, Nalkanef, in me you meet your death. Ah, uh, yeah, that one. You? Who are you, anyway? Don't trust a little more power than mortals usually have. And now you think you're to the gods? No, worse. I guess I'm more... Alright, I can take this guy down, no problem. Hmm. Hesitation shows for the monster smirk. Alright, the monster looks at you, and for a moment you feel once more that there is no one here besides the two of you. You feel his power, the same power granted to you. You realize that a battle is coming, the likes of which you've never endured before. But your opponent will soon realize the same. You feel his power and his fear. A moment later, the monster strikes. Close ranks. Close ranks. So bored about it. <laughs> Alright, here's what we're going to do. Cast. As soon as your turn comes around in the can. Up. And then Ninio cast haste, catch everyone, and then my character cast instrument of freedom on Windlog. All right, and this should be game. All right, Windlog, shoot Nolkenef to death. 
You're gonna lose. There's no way I can lose. I got this. Oh, hold on. Let me... I don't need his undead because I can have uh, Camila summon undead. There. What else? Since I don't really use it all that much. Smite Evil on Malkin F. Hmm? It's unbearable. The roars of Malkin F. The hissing of the ghouls. The moans of the wounded and dying. All this melds into a terrifying cacophony. An agonizing song of the tormented world. This shouldn't be happening. This shouldn't be happening. This shouldn't be happening. It won't happen. Anger, pain, fear. All emotions subside. Boundless, triumphant power rises from somewhere deep within you. Now you only feel... Alright, I... And then it's a... It's an alignment thing. Either hope, resolution, rage, or hunger, or calm. Let's see here. dragon feel in a moment like this probably not hung maybe hunger I doubt it though uh, let's see hope resolution rage I'll say hope Blinding flash illuminates the battlefield, lighting up the ghouls with their bare teeth. Rage and terror flash across the demon's twisted muzzle, and the despair on the people's faces is replaced with joy. Your neutral good, come on, it shouldn't be that hard. You don't know that. I mean, sometimes I want to do something that's not just neutral. I want to be like, ah, oh, that's a okay. cool. Oh wait, no. There's no way I'm gonna lose. I don't need to cast fire, a maximized fireball. Right. Yeah, never mind. dying monster at your feet raised its snout to the ugly sky of the world room. The demon yelps and covers her mouth with her hand. She grabs her companion by the shoulders and yells. Cold symbols appear on her face, and they flush red like bloody ulcers. The dwarf gives her sharp, sharps. All right, okay. Let me read this correctly, as it's not spelled. The dwarf gives her a sharp slap on the cheek. Holding Staunton close to herself, Naga disappears. <laughs> Nolkanef lets out a long grunt and freezes at your feet, like a dirty heap of bloody fur. 
it grows quiet. No roaring or shrieking or mon with monsters. No moaning of the wounded. No clamor of weapons. The dawn rises over the des desecrated chapel. What do you feel? Power? Power? New abilities? All oh, this is so exciting. Camilla's cheeks grow red and her eyes are gleaming. And then she lazily kicks the body of the n dead Nabasi. Lawful, yes, the, p the power has come to me again. This is a sign that we are on the right path. Or chaotic. Did you see Nulkanef's face? How unfortunate when your opponent gets new powers in the middle of a fight. Or what's done cannot be undone. We'll have time to ponder this, but now let's go. Oh man, what a stick in the mud that guy is. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever choose that for that answer. The chaotic one. The rays of, ri of the rising sun light up the gruesome battlefield where once again you felt the strange surge of power. The road awaits. You cannot say it. Got it. I don't know why you were talking about this being a tough fight. You didn't read the ha ha ha. Because I read it like that. Ha ha ha. I'm really bad at like just laughing on command. I don't think I ever. Like I think I've read a ha like. Once and it's never really with a lot of emotion. Unfortunately it's not. Oh ho oh. ho. Yeah, I could read a ho 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 just as, rather easily. Uh -huh. That's it is a quirk. And give her this cloak here. What else we got here? Belt of Mighty Constitution. Let's see. Whoever doesn't have a belt, I can put it on. See, I'll put it on Sila. She's in the party most of the time. What the hell? Oh, right. The half plate of vigor. It's, um, she's already got something doing that for her. Alright. What about this armor? Plus one breastplate. Yeah. No. Alright. We'll just give it to... Uh, just give it to you. Alright. Regil can have it. Flail of False Hope. What does this do exactly? Let's see. Plus two Mithril. When it crits, it restores 1d6 HP to the wielder. It can only be wielded by chaotic evil, chaotic neutral, or neutral evil characters. Hmm. Why is Sila not in full plate? Oh, that's easy. Because when I looked at full plate armor, the half plate armor of Vigor is a plus two half plate. And at the end of the day, it gives her 
it gives her just as much defense as full plate plus plus two constitution. That I'm pretty sure someone had full plate. Yeah. <clears throat> other than and like the only other way to do it would be to give her like Regil's full plate armor. But all the other full plate armors I found so far just don't measure up. <laughs> Man, it's really storming out there. Alright. Before anything else, let's increase the mythic path since it's gone up again. Destiny beyond birth. You no longer suffer your racial penalty to your to an ability score. Only races with a penalty to an ability score can take this feat. Okay. Sure. And is that is it just going to automatically give everybody that? Nope. I expanded arsenal, magic school, evocation. Let's see, select so like one school of magic, all bonuses from your feats and mythic feats that apply to another school of magic, such as spell focus feat and school specialization mythic feat, now apply to the chosen school of magic too. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Alright, next up. Huh. Why is Sela not. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I already read that. Yeah, yeah. Alright, moving on. Next up, Sela. The Mythic Toughness Feat. Let's see. You have res Mythical Resilience and Durability. Toughness provides you twice as many hit points in addition. When you're below zero hit points, you gain damage reduction 10 epic. Sure. Next up, Camilla. In addition to abundant casting, what do we get? Weapon finesse mythic. You're an expert with weapons that rely on your agility. When using Weapon Finesse, you may also use your Dexterity Modifier instead of Strength Modifier for damage rolls. Okay, sure. <clears throat> Next up, Windwall. Deadly Aim Mythic. When your shots hit the target, they do truly devastating damage. Wait, let's see. When you use Deadly Aim, you gain a plus three bonus on range damage rolls instead of plus two. And your base attack bonus reaches plus four, and every four, plus four thereafter, the bonus on range damage rolls increases by plus three rather than plus two. All right, cool. Hmm. Hmm. All right, cool. Mythic path. Next. All right, I unlocked the lich. Angel, Azada, Demon, Trickster. I lost Aeon. And there's a few others that I didn't get. <clears throat> Alright. I get Mythic Feet and an ability called Hard to Kill. You don't die until your total number of negative hit points becomes equal to or greater than double your constitution score. Neat. Next up. 
I'm going to choose a new feat. All right. So, Destructive Shockwave. Whenever you miss with a melee attack, the target still takes damage equal to your strength bonus. <laughs> this damage cannot be increased by other means. Okay. Emergency Potion. Can drink potions as a swift action. What the damn do? And can just take a regular extra feat, but that sounds rather stupid personally. Expanded Arsenal Magic is really. I don't cast spells, so no. Extra Mythic Ability. Don't know about that. What else we got? Flawless Attacks. You only suffer a minus four penalty on your iterative attacks instead of a minus five. Um, I don't know. Gets a nice feat for survival and just goes, huh, neat. That's right. Because preferably, I'd rather not be in a situation where my hit points hit zero. <laughs> it's, it's nice to have, but, you know, it abilities that only benefit you when you're losing as opposed to help you win more don't really seem all that great to me because you're already coming from the idea that you're getting your ass kicked all right let, let's see what else we got <laughs> mythic brew potions allows you to craft potions up to level six during camping you don't know how to use that. Mythic Resolve. You get a plus one bonus to all saving throws and additional hit points equal to... Yeah. Oh, hold on. Power Attack Mythic. Your attacks are truly devastating. Yeah, it's literally the... The Deadly Aim thing just upgraded. Oh, wait. So I, I don't have the ability to get these other ones. All right, let's focus on what I can have. <clears throat> but you are getting your ass kicked. All right, well, listen here. You said I needed the Lich to deal with this and his undead, and clearly I didn't. They, they, got, they got demolished. I was fine. And yet you're going to have to deal with a whole Lich. Bring it on! I can take them all down. Your feet, you're you're arming them to actually have to deal with them. I'm arming them so I can finally get a decent fight. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just too easy. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, I'm aware this is going to blow up in my face, everybody. <laughs> but still, I want to see it happen. Ah, uh, let's see. What else we got here? Flawless attachment, power attack, school mastery. Again, something that helps with spellcasters. Doesn't help me. Skill focus mastery. I could get this. Let's see. Always take a... T you can always take 10 on checks with your skill of choice for skill focus if 10 on the roll is enough for a successful skill check. I'm tempted to get this because of how bad my luck's been with, with damn rolls. It wouldn't have mattered. It would be a 15 check. Yeah, it would have been a 15 check. Yeah, I'll fail a 15 check or some shit, yeah. Ah. <sighs> I'm tempted to get it though. You haven't, you haven't been to Dresden. Don't believe your own hype so much. <laughs> He's gonna drown. I'm not gonna drown. I'm gonna go out in a blaze of glory. I'm gonna go out there, now explode, and. You're, 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 okay. we'll go. You got fire, so it won't. You won't just be sitting in a blaze of glory. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do have the fire dragon. I can actually sit in a fire. I'll be fine. 
You're and watch, watch right. they all use acid. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, wait, it fires doesn't work. And then all of a sudden, the whole campaign shifts, and all the demons just shift to whatever type does, does like, acid or whatever I don't have. Just to fuck with me. Go to sleep. If I, if I if I go if I went full demon and had all demonic resistances, it's like oh they all do radiant damage all of a sudden. Yup, demons do radiant damage now. Thank you. That's a bullshit. They got spell to just make sure that you can get hit. Even my negative one. All right, well let's see what else we got. Weapon focus mythic doubles the bonus on your attack rolls from weapon focus and greater weapon focus. Oh, that sounds pretty neat. Let's see, and what else we got here? Weapon specialization. The damage you deal with your chosen weapon is truly awesome to behold. When using your chosen weapon, you gain a bonus equal to half your mythic rank on damage rolls. So one. Right now, that would be one. No, Is like, huh. no, no, because it says half my mythic rank, and right now I'm mythic rank two, so it'd be one. It would be a plus one bonus. Maybe getting this later at later levels, this would be good. But like, right now, that's it's a really bad idea for me to get that now. Let's see. This gives me something for. Weapon focus and greater weapon focus. I'll, I'll worry about that later. Yeah, I thought there was something that would let me hit like an AoE attack or something. I can't get the mythic dazzling display because they don't count the Draconic Presence Dazzling Display feat as Dazzling Display. Yeah. It's such bullshit. What would this do? Uh, let's see. When wielding the weapon, which you have weapon focus, you can use Dazzling Display. Yes, I know what Dazzling Display does. As a standard. Oh, you can use it as a standard action as opposed to a full round action. With a minus five penalty on your persuasion check to intimidate. Or I can use it as a move action and with a minus ten check. Or as a swift action as a, with a minus twenty penalty. Well that's just dumb. That sounds like it'd be a waste of time. Well, way to go, Dragonair. Yeah, man, they really Gimp the idea of being able to strike fear into your enemies with the Dragonair Sion it is literally just a little gimmick at that point. Yes, we got great fortitude. Basically, always have advantage on fort checks. Dodge mythic goes. The dodge bonus goes up by another one. Uh, if there is one, it, well, there isn't one of those, but like, you know how you need to get combat expertise to get trip, bull rush, and stuff? Like, they have a mythic version of trip and bull rush, but nothing for like combat expertise itself. So you'd have to be more, spe you know, specific. Not to mention, you have neither weapon focus nor or weapon specialization. No, no. Wait, I don't? I thought I have... Let me go back. I thought I really did have... Uh... Yeah, can cancel the level up real quick. I was pretty sure I had at least weapon-focused longsword. Yeah, I got weapon-focused longsword. Yeah. So I have that, but I don't have greater weapon focus. So it's like... At this point, it would just be a plus one bonus if I got that feat now. What is specialization? The same thing. Oh wait, no. Do I, I don't think I have weapon specialization. Then, so. 
Man, I have to double check because I keep forgetting what I give myself. Oh no, I got weapon specialization. Alright. So I did do like a the basic stuff. I'm guessing I chose that when I found out that. Because I, I technically I already have it once I hit level six as a Dragonair Scion. And I have it. I can use it. It's just that right now I'm fighting ghouls and ghouls aren't scared. I use it against gargoyles. Like they have a whole animation when they're landing. So I just get started with the um as they're landing around me, so I just use it then. And then you the got fight starts. Yeah, yeah, I got corner gun smash. Thankfully, that doesn't care. That cares about power attack. It doesn't care about uh, dazzling display. So did you power up that? Um, as far as I can see, there is no mythic version of Cornagon Smash. No, I'm talking about power. Oh, power attack? Yeah. yeah, that's looking like the option. It's either going to be power attack or destructive shockwave. Where? So you can do yeah, just so that even when I miss. Because, you know, every subsequent attack in a round is like at minus 5. Since I'm, you know, once you hit level 6, you make another attack at minus 5. So if I miss, I still have a plus 5 strength. So that's at least still 5 damage, if nothing else. So I'm looking at that as, as what I'm going to go for for now. Then if I live to get to the next one, I'm going to get power attack. Maybe. Depends on how good... Like, if I... I don't know when I get the next... Yeah, I don't know when I'm going to get the next Mythic rank. But I might wind up getting the Weapon Specialization or the Weapon Focus one next. Depends. Alright. I'm now Hard to Kill. I got Freedom's Child. And the Summon Azata Berlani. Oh my god. I forgot I had that stupid cup that lets me summon an Azada. <laughs> oh man, this fight could have been even easier than I had it. Oh, God damn it. I gotta stop nerfing myself. Probably at the end of Dresden. He's going fairy. Hmm. Fairy. And a little dragon dude. I'm not going for the stupid little fairy dragon. Honestly, I didn't mind the shade of blue it was. It's just the damn butterfly wings I make it look like. Ah, he, he's going to have little butterflies going around him. Yeah, it would be like play, it'd be like playing a good it'd be like playing a good aligned character in Fable One, where you're just surrounded by butterflies and a halo. They just they just materialize around me just because of my overall aura of goodness. Right, that was. freedom. Don't worry. Nothing will harm us. Am I done here? Let me see here. Banner of the Citadel. Strike from above. Oh no, I talked to Anivia, and then I'm done here. Secrets of Creation, Heart of Mystery. Oh, did Make you it to Dresden. The yeah, I searched the chapel. I fought the I fought the specters. They lowered my level by six. <laughs> And we go with all the stuff that was in the chapel. Um. Hmm? Huh. Summons are a waste of time anyways. You can only rely on yourself and on undead soldiers. So what? You're, go you're gonna go with what path then? Angel? No. I'm... Well. I'm going to try. He's an angel! Get away. Stop! Don't, 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 don't give false advertisement to my viewers. I'm not going Angel Path if I can help it. 
I'm going to try to go for... No, the Golden Dragon. And if barring that, I'll probably go Lich. Because, like, just out of spite. Just out of pure hatred for losing the one path I wanted. It's either that or whatever. Whichever is the most... Whichever is the most destructive path after Dragon. That's what I'm going for. I think I blew my chances with that. <laughs> Like, I completely blew my chances with the swarm. Yeah, but what does Trickster get? What does Trickster get? I know the Trickster's a thing, it's an option, but what does the Trickster path, Mythic Path even get? That's Summon. like. like Everybody gets summons. Well, everyone gets summons, yeah, that's not an advertisement, that's a matter of fact. <laughs> Uh, I can speak of that. And you play the game as if you were playing the game. Why are they stuck there? More scabbers. The game will be based on worst decks than the outside. So, oh. It's like you're uh, playing the game. Sorry, what? Oh, huh, what? You can't fully morph into a lich. You're not evil. Oh. The trickster gets beer elementals. Well. That's... That's something. Oh, wait. If I press this button, they... they oh, the camera tracks if I press F. Sleep. Huh? Oh, hold on. Reg Regil looks at Socio with contempt. Despite their difference in height, it seems it's the gnome who is looking down on his counterpart. You wanted to ask me about something. I'm listening. Socio lowers his head with cold respect. Thank you for finding the time to listen to me. It regards a personal matter. There was a woman in your squad. She perished covering our retreat, and I don't even know her name. But she carried this shield. It once belonged to my brother. Do you happen to know how she came to have it? A personal matter? Of course. How silly of me to expect a, re a relevant question. Regil chuckles. After savoring the expression on Socio's face, he continues. Her name was Marenta, and she turned out to be a better soldier than I thought. Too bad she still wasn't good enough to survive. She transferred to us from the Order of the Nail. The ex... Oh my god. A new, a new word I cannot pronounce. Shut up! She's <laughs> <laughs> agonizing over your <laughs> Even NPCs are are agonizing over the fact I'm gonna look this up. Alright, how does this say? Extirpator. Right, so it tells me expert extirpate. Extirpate. Extirpation. Extirpation. It means root out and destroy completely. Extirpation. I'm going to use that in a D&D &D campaign. <laughs> Alright, the extirpators chapter. If memory serves me right. I wasn't interested in her reasons for changing chapters, and she never gave any. 
Such transfers are not forbidden, though they are not encouraged. In any case, she already had the shield when she came to us, and the only way to find out where she got it from is to ask at her former chapter. But the gods only know where they are now and which demons they are slaughtering. Uh huh. Come on, beer elementals. That's hype. All right, look, man. You, you and your clearly you chose Kate and Kylie. <laughs> if I ever made a dwarf, yeah, you're right. That'd be right up my alley. I'd take the whole beer thing to a new level. Yeah, do they do they run over? Do they run over? Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. That's good. And name them Charlie Hops. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for your answer, Paralector. With with <laughs> Hey, you got build ideas when you find out what's what the game has later. <laughs> What was, oh yeah, thank you for your answers, Paralictor. With cold politeness, Socio lowers his head and bows before before the night, then turns to you. It seems I have reached a dead end. Alright. This isn't the end, you can still find those knights. The Hell Knights don't value the lives of their warriors very highly. Or, I hope your search for your brother won't distract you from our mission. No, no, be distracted. This isn't the end. You can still find those knights. Go, go, go out there. Go find them. <laughs> Get out of here. Per have to help it. Perhaps if the goddess helps me. All right, perhaps if the goddess helps me. But where are they? Where do I even begin to look for them? I don't love hell knights. I just don't hate them. Wrong, wrong character. La for neutral. Here we go. Nah, it's not gonna happen. All right, hon. If only I had a chance to talk to her while she was still alive. Socio looks away. I sound so selfish. She died, and all I talk about is what she could have done for me. But it's not only that. This shield was Trevor's treasure. He wouldn't have given it away for no reason. How did this woman get it? Did she deceive Trevor, kill him, or perhaps the opposite? She meant so much to him that he gave her the shield voluntarily. I keep mulling it over, trying to understand. Trying to imagine what happened to my brother. And what role Marenta played in his story. If she was still alive... Maybe I'd have to exact my vengeance for my brother on her. Or maybe we'd sit next to each other and she'd tell me all about their adventures together. She might have become my mortal enemy or my sworn sister, but she's dead. Ah, oh, this guy's so rude. Yelling in the middle of this. <laughs> she's just dead. None of that will happen now. Do you understand? The cleric's voice trembles. Perhaps we'll meet these ex extirpators. I shall pray that we do, but I won't hold my breath. Socio shakes his head. Let's talk about this later. I need time to gather my thoughts. We'll have to set up a field hospital right here on the bare earth. Crusader. Did the magic really work? I don't want to turn into a ghoul. It hurts. I can't believe we got out of there alive. Crusader. Magic will work. Where's... All right, there's Queen Golfrey. I prefer traveling with the army incognito. 
but I wish I could fight the demonic abomination with all my powers. I can't talk to Jaeger. Darren, what you got to say? Hearing about the horrors of the world wound and seeing it all with one's own eyes are two very different things, it turns out. Ember, what you got to say? Very soon, all of Galarian will look like this place. I don't know. Let's hope not. No, no, no. Don't worry. We'll, we'll save the world. Good times are coming. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll sing that song. <laughs> Why not? Anivia. Anivia looks at you with apprehension. She warily reaches out for your shoulder, but then jerks her fingers away. That flash. This time it was even brighter than it was over the Grey Garrison. And you've changed again. Arabeth emerges from behind Anivia's back. Her body is covered in bandages. Her hair is fretted with gray, and her voice is weak. It's as if she has aged a decade. You still came for me, for us. I, the half-orc's voice breaks. I thought it was the end. Anivia takes her wife by the arm, as if fearing she might fall. Commander, I admit, I've never believed in miracles. But now I know why the Queen put you in command of this army. Today you did the impossible again, right before our eyes. You pulled your people from a demon's mouth, opened the road to Dresden for us, and you saved my family again. We've lost many people, but our army is still in fighting form. I couldn't save one guy, and they don't let me live it down. <laughs> That's right! You ain't no stealthy motherfucker. Okay, there was like a few guys that were, were lost before, but I, I did my best here, okay? And you let traitors walk. And you helped them. I didn't let traitors walk. I let the deserters get yelled at by a hell knight instead of killed. Oh, oh, oh alright. Oh. So, Atrocius has gone out of his way to t type in the whole lyrics... Of of the Charlie Mop song, <laughs> <clears throat> or at the very least, uh, uh, the at least the uh, first verse. Let's see, beer, 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 tiddly beer, beer, beer. A long time ago, way back in history, when all there was to drink was nothing but cups of tea. Along came a man by the name of Charlie Mops. And he invented a wonderful drink and he made it out of hops. <laughs> he must have been an admiral, a sultan, or a king. And to his praises we shall always sing. Look what he has done for us, he's filled us up with cheer. The Lord bless Charlie Mops, the man who invented beer, 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 tiddly beer, beer, beer. <laughs> The, the main problem with that character is we never get anything done because we'd be sitting around <laughs> singing the song all the goddamn time. Like, yeah, we'll just be a bard. We'll just keep doing it. <laughs> the, the, bard, the bard dwarf, Charlie Mops. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Alright, huh, huh. So, let's see what else they got to say. Alright, Ember. Yes, many died. And even more will die yet. Today, tomorrow, every day until the end of this war. But every day there's another chance to save someone. She gives you a carefree smile. Regil, I hope these would-be crusaders will not easily forget the lessons this night has taught them. And Socio. This night has left scars on our soldiers, on their bodies and in their hearts, but it also showed them that the power of demons is not boundless. We can destroy the demons, and we will. Sila, oh. hey, why all the glum faces? We won, come on. She raises her sword to the brightening sky, to victory. 
And come here. If we're finished here, I suggest we head back to the camp. The stench here is horrendous. Besides, I wouldn't mind catching up on some sleep. And when do I? into your uh, tent. Is it Windowall was first. Yeah. Hey, yeah, and everybody else was freaking out. Windowall gave a clear-cut report on what she saw. Like, come on. <laughs> it tried to kill it, bro. It actually tries to kill it. She didn't freak out. She's like, oh, problem. Shoots it. <laughs> didn't work, and this hit. Better report this to the boss. <laughs> need, need everybody to be a security team like that. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. My master is even stronger now. Windwalk slowly clenches and unclenches her fists, as though she can feel the new power in her hands. And as he gains strength, so do I. And Daren. I will remember this night for the rest of my life. Daren's shoulders slump, but then he grins. I've always wanted to throw a bash in a church. I suppose this counts. Alright, Queen Grawlfrey whispers so only you can hear her. This beast possessed a terrible unholy power, and still it fell at your feet. I was right about you. You are more than just a mighty force. You are our hope. For me, for us, for all of Galarian. Another thing, Commander. Your tiefling pal ran off the night of the attack. Nobody's seen him since. I'm not sure we'll be able to find him. He left without a trace. I'll get the survivors back to camp. Let them rest up a little while at least. It was a scary night. But we've still got Dresden ahead of us. All right, good job, everybody. Except for Ninio, just random eat a piece of ghoul meat. <laughs> Fuck's wrong with you? If it gave me the option, I would have slapped it out of her hand. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, let's leave. Oh, right. Can't travel yet. Overweight. Um. Yeah, no, no worries. There's usually, like, a ton of, like, shields or something that just weigh a lot. Yeah, just drop these shields. Thirty-one leather armors. They're not worth all that much anyway. Drop this. Drop all of them. There. All right, I'm good. Lee. There should be a small shrine to Desna on this map. You should look for it. Oh, really? Um. As the story unfolds, you draw closer to events that have the power to change everything. Some quests and locations may become unavailable. Proceed when you are ready. All right. You said that it's on, there's a shrine of De to Desna on the in the Lost Chapel. Sure, let's give it a look. You mean the Lost Chapel map, right? Not the whole world map. Downstairs, cave. Oh. Let's go to the cave then. Where? Oh, 
So the cave should be around here somewhere. Alright, so where is it? Is it up here somewhere? I'm assuming this isn't the Shrine of Desna. Hmm. Okay. The well. The well. Alright. There's a well here somewhere. Alright. Where is the well? Should be somewhere out here. Island, you follow. Let's see here. Where would the world be again? Wait, right here? Onwards. Wait. Guess that's not it. So... Where is this one? Like I'm looking for it, I'm just not finding it. Is it at least near the church? No, that's in the Right. I chose this. Can you give me some detail? Where where is this well supposed to be? Near the cave marker. Oh, thank you. There's a well. Nothing. If there is anything, I don't see it. No. So it's near the cave marker. Hmm. 
nothing popped up, so I'm guessing I needed to pass a perception check that I just failed. No, I didn't find the cave. I found the well he was talking about, but then there was no... There's no cave entrance or anything. No. My main issue is that, like, where the cave marker is, I don't see the cave. where it has the cave marker, but, like... No, 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 no. You're, you're not hearing me. I click where it says cave, and then it's like, that's it. They don't go to a cave. There's nothing there. Oh, wait, is this it? Oh, shit. There it is. Found. I found the cave. Now I need to find a way down... Oh, okay. So, I have to click it. They just climb down. Right. It's... It's on the... It's, yeah, it, you have to scan down the side of the map. And there's no clue to get down there. You have to, like, get lucky and, like, highlight it. And then you just click it and they just climb down. No skill check needed. Yes. Use lesser. Nah, get rid of that. Use lesser. Maximize magic and cast fireball. Nice and fair balance encounters. Throw another fireball at this guy. <laughs> you call battle formations and then everybody runs. Yo, you see the party for the party for the Oh, oh. what? Chain oh, fancy chain shirt. Bruiser's chain shirt. Alright. Now let me hit uh, from oldest to newest. And get rid of the filter so I can actually see the new stuff I'm coming across. Alright, so so far I found a fancy... I found a fancy harp. A harp of the a harp engraved with a butterfly, the symbol of Desna. If you listen closely, you can just make out a melody coming from it. Okay. Cool. And the bruiser's chain shirt. Let's see, light armor chain shirts with damage reduction and piercing. Is it better than what you have right now? Six, six. Mm. I think the Mithril chain shirt is better. So, yeah, no. All right. So, is that what you want? It's more stuff. No, there's another. There's another gargoyle over there. We're gonna cast you another. Aid. Uh, she's out of fireballs. All right, arcane bond. There's a fireball. Now check the fireball. <laughs> There's an awful lot of smite goods from these guys. Oh, huh. Book of Dreams, second page. Book you found reveals only part of its secrets, at least for the moment. Among the bones and debris of the crypt lies an ancient tome. It is out of place here, 
unblemished by dust or time. It feels much heavier in hand than a book of its size should. It resonates lightly with magical energies. Gold filigree frames the cover which appears as a night sky without words or title. Leafing through its pages reveals it to be a collection of a myriad tales about travels and luck, cryptic dreams and helpful visions and friends leaving their hometown to travel around the world. Not one of the characters featured, through, featured though, are of any renown. Oddly, the book seems to have never been completed. The stories end halfway through. Unable to discern more, you pack the book away and for a later study. Hmm? Oh, Trish has been saying something. Shrine is at the bottom of the map. Go out the way you came in. Okay. Alright, as your travels... As your travels continue and the story unravels itself, the book reveals more of its secret. Now you... Now all you summoned creatures gain the effects of greater long stride and good hope spells. Oh, nice. Man, the power of books is serious in this game. Alright, let's see. Yeah, here. Cold iron. Javelin. Hide. Alright. What else we got? Just some trinkets. And more stuff. And. Oh. Sisters of Mercy. Memoirs of the Second Crusade. A tower shield, hurricane bow. Hmm. No, I remember. I think I have another book like this. I just haven't read it yet. Man, there's a lot of stuff down here. I think that's everything. Yep. Let's get out of here. Shrine is at the bottom of the map. Well, let's find it. Oh. So now we are at the bottom of the map, all right. Let's see what we got here. A ghoul stalker. Yeah, shoot this guy. Stalkers all down. Oh, it just came out of nowhere. Whoa, what is that? Death Silence there? Shaking. Oh boy. This got this thing's serious business. Just 
pelt it with magic missiles. Alright, moving on. We got it. Wait, Magla, what's he got? Bracers and gloves. Bracers plus four and big game gloves. The hell is this? Whenever the wearer of these gloves announces a quarry target enemy suffers a minus two penalty to armor class and becomes sickened for three rounds. So that doesn't help me much at all. Alright, let's see. I can give Yeah, I can give her these plus four. That's about it. Holy oh, huh. Is this iron, cold iron, ingot, worth something? Special metal extracted from the depths and forged at a low temperature. Hmm. Alright, whatever. And what do we have for loot? Hmm. Just some stuff. Uh oh. Thankfully, these guys aren't really hitting. So. It's 2020 now. I should really heal up. We will win this war. Throw yourself up a bit. I need the voice of the spirits. Hmm. Here's a voice. Heal me. Alright. That should hold us off for now. Some incubi. Always open to ideas. Yes, it's it's two incubi and a succubus. Whoa, what the hell? Stringy Demodans. What the hell is that? Use Phantasmal Killer. I didn't work. Alright. Acid. Use this. Use Smite Evil. Faith stealing strike. And the Demodan's natural attack or melee weapon damages a creature capable of casting divine spells. That creature must make a will save or be unable to cast divine spells. Oh shit. Alright. Let's uh let's get these summons out the way, eh? Use the oh, shit. Yeah, this is looking bad. Oh no, it killed Sila. All right, we gotta load. Screw it. Damn. 
I was not I was not expecting that. Everything else was easy enough, but that demo damned whatever. Being able to stop the cast of holy magic. smarter about this, but only a little. That summons only for a minute. in here. Together we stand. You smite evil on it. Speak with your actions, not your words. All this What's on your mind? I wonder. Use that. Only you deserve my obedience. No reason to pause. That's it. Two critical hits in a row. This death stare gaze is kicking her ass. Why is Windowog in frickin' melee? Everybody ran in to be in melee with a fucking death gaze. That that was really dumb. Literally everyone, even the casters, it made no sense. Beginning of this fight against the Ghoul Stalker. Yeah, everybody can charge in. That's fine. Divine Weapon Bond. Fascinating. Use that. Stop using that for... Use that. What is this? Battle Spirit. She surrounds herself with a Battle Spirit. Allies within 30 feet of the Shaman get a plus one morale bonus to attack and damage rolls. For a number of rounds. Oh, so it's only for four rounds? Hmm.
Okay. Placement on me. All right, let's go. Battles await. Together we stand. All right, come here. What's on your mind? I wonder. All right, you're good to go. I'll help where I can. Ninio, get ready to shoot oh, something. Yes, what? You require my counsel. Charge. Wise. And when do I back up and shoot? Good. No time for debates. No match for me. This is still not looking good. Did my magic? Oh, failed to overcome spell resistance. That's just fantastic, isn't it? How did I beat this thing earlier? Must have got a lucky crit in or something. Spell resistance is 25. Ooh. Yeah, this... See, that's kick. I'm just unlucky as all. I beat him earlier. Don't know how I'm getting my ass kicked now. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. What time is it? Alright, it's alright at that time. We're gonna call it for tonight. <laughs> and hopefully I can get through this. Alright, I'll figure it out later. Let's see. Tomorrow I have to work in the, in the evening, so I'll be streaming Kingmaker in the morning. Uh, let's see, what else? Saturday, I work almost all day. So my stream would pretty much probably be starting around this time on Saturday. But that's about it. Um, thanks to everybody who stopped by. And I got my ass handed to me. This is why you save. Alright, see you next time. And until then, take care.